This video shows my daughter and I installing a new wear ring and impeller on these Marine Jet Power Ultra Jet 340 HTs. So every once in a while on these jet units you gotta replace the wear ring when it becomes worn or damaged as mine did last year. So these wear rings need to be cut to fit. So we got it pressed in as, in, as much as we can. Now we gotta scribe where we wanna cut it. And then uh, we gotta take it out, cut it, reinstall it, and hopefully it snaps into place like a dream. Now we're gonna cut this much out. Just use this cut off wheel on this peanut grinder to uh, chop off about five eighths of an inch. Of course, the worst thing to do is cut off more than you need to cut off because that just renders the wear ring useless. Got it super close. Got it. Right there. Freaking got it. <laughs> yeah. Put her in there, by golly. One of the worst things about jet boats is putting in the freaking wear ring. God, I hate that. Okay, now we got to put in this impeller, five-bladed stainless steel impeller that was just rebuilt uh, because we beat it up on the beach in Ugashik last year. So it's looking good. We're going to put it in the hole. Never sees. I put that shit on everything. Because it is there. All right, it's in. It's a little bit of a battle. It's the first time I've had to put these new ones in, and uh, you know, it's always a learning process. And, and frankly, jets are a total pain in the ass. So that's what I know. Uzi 55 millimeter. Deals that I probably didn't need to spend a bunch of money on this 55 millimeter socket, but it's the right tool for the job. How much was it? I have no idea. <laughs> I spent $200 in the store that day, and this was part of that part of that purchase. And then what? The buckets go on, or is there more? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, the the nozzle and the bucket we took them off in one piece, so those will go on next. Is it going on there? Yep. Come up a little. Oh, that, that gave us a nice little wrench. Oh, yeah. We can do it with the wrenches now. Oh, love me. All right. <laughs> it's kind of a pain in the butt. That's how you install the wear ring, impeller, thrust tailpipe, and steering assemblies. Somehow I lost the footage of us connecting the reverse bucket and steering nozzle linkage for Pete's sake, but that's just two bolts total. You get the picture. Alrighty, we'll see you folks back on the water. 